It's one o'clock time for the Joy Business Report. Coming up, Bank of Ghana suspends Forex licenses of Fidelity Bank and First National Bank for breaching the interbank Forex market conduct rules. Also, Coalition of Individual Bondholders Group gives Ministry of Finance a 24-hour ultimatum to honor pledge of paying coupons and principals on their bonds. Also, Automobile Assemblies Association projects 60% growth of Ghana's car manufacturing industry by 2027. I'm Amisi. Nyamiche Thompson. In our first story, the Bank of Ghana has suspended the Forex licenses of Fidelity Bank and First National Bank for a month. The central bank also fined the two banks 12,000 Ghana cities for breaching some sections of the Ghana Interbank Forex Market Conduct Rules. The following report has more. The Bank of Ghana warned that by this notice, Forex market players, including banks, Forex bureaus, Forex brokers, and money transfer operators are expected to adhere strictly to the applicable forex market regulations and guidelines. Meanwhile, First National Bank Ghana says it will turn to partner banks to initiate and complete foreign exchange deals on behalf of its clients in the coming days. First National Bank in a statement explained that the action is to minimize any possible disruptions on its clients should the need arise. It added that, as a bank, it holds itself to the highest operational and regulatory standards in every aspect of the business and is committed to reaching an amicable resolution with the Bank of Ghana for the restoration of the bank's foreign exchange license. And that was the News Desk report. Now, the Coalition of Individual Bondholder Groups has stated that it is disturbed by the failure of the Ministry of Finance to commence implementation of the Memorandum of Understanding between the government and the groups on payment of bonds. The Coalition said the MOU, which was signed on the 16th of June 2023 on payment plans, has not been honoured by the government. The following report has more. According to the Coalition... It has been 42 days since reaching an agreement and 11 days since the signing with no implementation undertaken. It therefore does not want to believe that the invitation to dialogue was a futile action and a time-buying gimmick, but a conscious effort by both parties to ensure there is some relief to bondholders. It added that payment of bonds have been in default for over 100 days, plunging people into a lot of hardships discomfort and untold distress. The Coalition of Individual Bondholders groups again said the matter must be treated with urgency as agreed with the Ministry of Finance to make full payment of all outstanding principals and coupons by tomorrow. It also warns the government to fast-track the Memoranda on Treasury Bill Convention for consideration of membership by tomorrow. Now, President Okufado has reassured investors of the immense opportunities in the country despite economic challenges. According to him, the government will provide the enabling environment for the private sector to thrive. He was speaking when the group board chairman of Standard Chartered Bank paid him a cutsy call a while ago. As a country, uh, we cannot overemphasize the need for strategic action to empower and equip our adolescent girls with basic we apologize for that wrong sound. We'll be bringing that to you later. Now, the Ghana Enterprises Agency has reiterated its commitment to supporting the small businesses. Speaking at the MSME Day celebration, the Chief Executive Office of the agency, Kosi Iyanki Aya, said government has committed over 800 million cities since 2017 to support the expansion of businesses in the country. Through our efforts since 2017 to date since we came in, over 800 million Ghana cities have given us access to funding to innocent across the entire network of this nation. In every district in this nation, there has been a beneficiary of the support of Ghana Enterprises Agency. This is to show you the government's commitment to ensure that the work we do does not only stay in the capital cities of Ghana. 
We have equipped MSMEs with tools that go beyond access to funding by training and building their capacity through the hybrid MSME program through our partnership with Food and Drug Authority. Over a thousand products have received access to FDA support. And that was Kosi Yanke. Kosi Yanki Aye is the CEO of the Ghana Enterprises Agency. Now, partner in charge of advisory at KPMG, Andy Akuto, is urging corporate businesses to strengthen their internal auditing departments to attract strategic business partners. According to him, growing sustainable business will depend on a good corporate governance structure, which is well monitored by an internal auditing team. Mr. Akuto spoke in an interview with Joy Business bring an objective and independent view to how to continue to enhance the business, add effective controls, and ensure that everyone is accountable for the reason why they are part of the enterprise. So if we set the right tone at the top, and it doesn't matter in which sector, whether it's at the governmental level, whether it's at the corporate level, we have a very good chance of getting a strategic partner in the internal audit function to help us address gaps in a performance journey so that we can build sustainable businesses that are poised for growth from generation to generation. I'll take you back to our other story about President Okufuado reassuring investors of the immense opportunities in the country despite the economic challenges. According to him, the government will provide the enabling environment for the private sector to thrive. Let's listen to the president. We believe that the opportunities in this country are immense. I think the opportunity for private sector development and of our, of our economy are considerable. This government is fully committed to doing whatever it can to aid the private sector, both domestic and foreign, to work in this, in this competitive and environment as possible to enable the private sector to be able to contribute to the growth of our economy. And now the Automobile Assemblers Association of Ghana has projected a 60% growth of the sector by 2027 if government fully implements the Ghana Automotive Development Policy. According to the CEO for Silver Star Ghana, Assad Nazir, the automotive policy, when implemented, will ensure sustainability of car manufacturing companies in Ghana. He however stressed on the need for government to boost its investments in the industry to support skills development. Mr. Nazir was speaking at the 2023 Ghana Automotive Summit. A policy is always a journey, and so there's a final bit which has to be implemented, which will really make us become very viable. And today we've had the Minister of Trade and Industry assure us that that will be implemented this year, and we look forward to that. Tifa Chain today, post-harvest losses is one of the major challenges the agriculture sector is grappling with. One way to solve this is to boost agro-processing. But in its little way, Josie Snacks, a startup, is helping address this challenge by making dried fruits. Today's episode of Food Chain focuses on your favorite healthy snack, dried fruit. Josie Snack is a small agro-processing company. We process mainly fruits. The fruits that we're dealing is mango, pineapple, and coconut. Meet Josephine Odro Boating, a tax collector with the Ghana Revenue Authority, who started a side business in agricultural processing in 2017. She began as an off taker for an agro processing company, but with her own packaging. What motivated me in starting this initially? My dad used to work with an agro company and I used to take these dried mangoes from them, package it and sell it in the shops and I, okay, I started selling from church actually. Then at a point, going back to the agro company, they changed their prices and when they're going up, they go like 50% and so at a point, it wasn't making any sense to continue. So I started thinking of being on my own. So. I started doing some research and then I also started reading around it, how to dehydrate uh, these fruits into snacks and all that. Dried fruit is fruit that has had almost all of the water content removed through drying methods. The fruit shrinks during this process, leaving a small, energy-dense dried fruit. 
Justwin explains the process of dehydration. That's a mini dehydrator. It goes in rotation because the heat has to go around and give it an even bake. There's a place where you can take this out. So I wait till I see that opening. Then I'll put the rotation off first. Then I can release the side, open it. Then I can pull it out to check whether my, my dehydration is okay for me, whether the dryness level is what I want. So I pick one and I check for moisture. I see whether the moisture level is okay for me. If it's okay, I just release it and I put it down, ready to be taken out. After taking it out, does it have to cool off? It has to cool off. For how long? For, you can give it about 30 to one hour. Upon starting, her major challenges were technical know-how and machinery. Two bottlenecks I had. One was machinery, the next thing was the know-how. So how did you address the machinery? Well, I kept on uh, asking around. They gave me a lead to a gentleman who is into metal works. He does, he molds machines and things. Yeah, but I went to him. The invoice he gave me, I coded. I got this at 6000 The clearing it and all of that. Let's say we put everything together, about 8000 The local welder. The local much? welder, he quoted around 48000 as a small startup, Josephine's call to government is to reduce cost of electricity to small businesses and also invest in assembling of agro processing machines. For Food Chain, Emma David's report. And that's it for the Joy Business Report brought to you by Ecobank. Ecobank double salary promotion reloaded. It does your existing salary account give you more? Is your salary in the right amount or account? Worry no more. The Ecobank salary account is here to help you. Open an an Ecobank salary account today and enjoy free life insurance, which covers temporary and permanent total disability, critical illness, hospitalization, retrenchment, and death. With the Ecobank salary account, you have the ability to save as you spend free debit card, access to loans, and more. The best part is that you stand the chance to double your salary in the Ecobank double salary promo reloaded from now till end of July. So open an Ecobank salary account today by visiting an Ecobank branch or ecobank.com to open an account online for amazing benefits. Please beware of scammers who may contact you on this offer. Always visit an Ecobank branch or call toll free on 0800-003-225 for further details on the Ecobank salary account and the Ecobank double salary promotion reloaded terms and conditions apply. Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank. Thanks for listening. I'm Amnesty Nyamche Thompson. Ignition is next.